Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons. And I am your host, Uncle C. Today's story is entitled, Elijah Resurrects a Boy. Elisha resurrects a boy. But before I tell the story, I want to give special greetings to someone. I want to give special greetings to Sister Dale and her granddaughter, Christy, who live in Aruba. They contacted me and they said they love the stories and they want me to continue with them. So Sister Dale and Christy, thank you for your support. And I hope you enjoy this story. The action text is taken from 2 Kings 4, 36. Elisha called Gehazi and said, call the Shunammite, and he did. When she came, Elisha said, pick up your son. Now on to your story. Elijah decided to go to Shunem. And while he was there, he met a couple and the lady invited him to eat. In fact, the, I guess the meeting went so well that every time he went to that city, they would invite him to eat. So the husband and the wife decided, you know what? The man of God, he comes here so often. Why don't we have a room for him? So when he comes, he can just sleep here. And they decided to do that. Now, one day, Elisha and his servant Gehazi said, you know what, these people are so, they are so good to us. What do you think we can do for them? And he sent Gehazi to, to the lady and the lady was like, no, I'm okay. But Elijah and Gehazi, they, they spoke again. And they said, you know what, they don't have any children. So Elijah called her and she said, Yes, here I am. And he said to her, you know what? Next year, at this time, you will have a son. And the woman said, no, 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 no. Don't fool me. Do not fool me. But guess what? Around the same time, the following year, a son was born. And they were happy. And things were going well until one day, the young man was in the field. And he started to feel ill. And his dad said, you know what? I think you need to go to your mom. And he went to his mom and he lay on his mom's lap. And unfortunately, he died. So the lady said to the husband, I think I need to go to Elisha. I need to go to him, take the boy, put him on Elisha's bed and send me with a servant. And he went to Elijah. When, he, when she met Elijah, she went on, his, on his, her knees and she touched his feet and she told him what happened. And Elijah, he sent his servant, Gehazi, to the boy to see if he can raise him from the dead. But nothing happened. Gehazi returned to Elijah and Elijah said, you know what? I would need to go there myself. And Elijah went and he prayed, nothing happened. And he circled the guy and he prayed again until the boy came back alive. When that happened, he sent for the mom. And when the mom saw her son was alive again, she was just overjoyed and they give thanks to the Lord. Now, there are a few points to remember. First of all, we want you to know that kindness pays. Because of their kindness, Elisha decided to pray to God so that they will have a son. Because people remember you when you are kind, they remember what you do for them. Even though the boy died, Jesus has the power over that. He cares for us. And we may have individuals who have died recently, but there comes a day, there will come a day when Jesus will have that power over death to, 
and he is going to raise them from the dead because he cares for us. Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it would go something like this. Elisha traveled to Shunman and he was invited to eat by a couple he was delighted to meet. He traveled there often, so they were happy to share a room where he could sleep whenever he came there. For their generosity, they were promised a son and there was joy and excitement from everyone. But the boy died and the parents were dejected, but they were happy again when he was resurrected. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one, what was the name of Elisha's servant? A, Gideon, B, Gihan, C, Gehazi, or D, Georgie? And if you say C, Gehazi, you are correct. Question number two, what did the couple do for Elisha? A, they bought him a home. B, they decided to rent him a room. C, they gave him a donkey for transportation. Or D, they prepared a room in their house for him. And if you say D, they prepared a room in their house for him, of course, you are correct. Question number three. Where was the boy when he got ill? A, he was working in the field. B, he was playing at school. C, he was at his parents' business. Or D, he was at home. What is the answer? And if you say A, he was working in the field, you are correct. And question number four, what is amazing about this story? A, Elisha had free food. B, God used Elisha to resurrect a dead boy. C, there was free transportation. Or D, the couple had seven more children. What is the answer? And if you say B, God used Elisha to resurrect a dead boy, you are correct. Thank you for taking the quiz. Now, boys and girls, it is prayer time. So let us bow our heads, let us close our eyes, and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are indeed thankful that you can do all things. We know that you also have the power over death. We look forward to the day when death will be no more. Until that day, we will continue to trust you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, boys and girls, I thank you for being with me today. And as you go through the week, as always, always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.